Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Densley. And I'm Dr. Cope. We're both dentists. In this video, we'll discuss the difference between crowns, implants, bridges, and partial dentures, and some of the reasons a dentist may decide to use each. Many people are familiar with dental crowns, also known as caps, and many of you may have one or two in your own mouth. A crown covers a tooth 360 degrees and is made out of metal, porcelain, or a combination of the two. A tooth needs to be crowned if it has a cavity that has become too large or if part of the tooth is fractured or may be at risk of fracturing. A dentist will shape the tooth to receive the crown and then take a very accurate mold of the tooth. A crown is then made to fit the shaped tooth exactly. This crown is glued into place with a special dental cement. So you get a crown when there's a huge cavity or when the tooth fractures, um, but you also get a crown especially on molars after a root canal. Teeth are more brittle that have had a root canal and need the protection of a crown. There are times when a tooth is so decayed or broken that a dentist is unable to predictably repair it with a filling, a crown, or even a root canal. In these situations, it may be best to have the tooth extracted. You're now left with a hole where you used to have a tooth. If this happens to you, don't worry. There are several ways a dentist can fix that. The state-of-the-art treatment to replace a missing tooth is a dental implant. Implants are usually made from titanium and are anchored in the bone through a minor surgery. After everything is healed, a custom-fitted crown is placed on the top of it. Implants are a great option to replace a missing tooth or several teeth. However, there are some limitations. First of all, you've got to have enough bone to support the implant, in the same way a fence post needs to be deep in the ground to be stable. Other factors like your health are considered for you to be a candidate for implant surgery. If you're not eligible for an implant, another option a dentist may choose could be a dental bridge. A bridge uses neighboring teeth as supports for a fake tooth suspended between them. The procedure is similar to getting a crown in that the neighboring teeth are shaped to receive the bridge, a mold is taken of the teeth, the bridge is made, and then glued into place with a special dental cement. Sometimes both implants and bridges may be out of the question for you. In that case, we may be looking at getting a partial denture. These are made out of plastic and metal. They clip onto your real teeth while filling in the empty spaces with false teeth. This is a cheaper option, but you have to take it out every day for cleaning. And it's not as aesthetic, and its lifespan is normally only 5 to 10 years compared to over 15 to 20 years with a good bridge or an implant, which pretty much lasts for the rest of your life. These are all the ways in which a dentist can replace teeth that have had to be removed for one reason or another. If you've got a missing tooth, you should probably get it fixed. It will complete your smile, help you chew better, and keep your other teeth from shifting out of place. To learn more about dentistry, check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.